everyone, and welcome to another fine edition of TYT Sports. That's Jason Rubin. You recognize what? Who the hell is that person? Well, it's actually Denise <laughs> Jones, all American badass, right there. there. Hello, Denise. Time. Hi, guys. Really Thank you for joining here. us. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Who the hell are you? What should we know about you? Um, let's see. <laughs> Uh, my last name is Jones. Sweet. Very important. Um, huge Laker fan. Um, Solid. Let's see. Favorite Laker of all time? Favorite Laker of all time. I'd say Magic Johnson. Solid. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Which in fact, I'm pretty boring. So Good that's stuff. it. Yeah. Nothing else we should know. Nothing else really matters. Yeah, it's to the point. Very understood. Yeah. You know, uh, Jason's <laughs> favorite Laker was Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. See, I have, you know, I have, it, it gets me upset when people say that sometimes because usually it's somebody who's not a basketball fan. I love Kobe Bryant. He's amazing. But he's just the easiest name to say. Oh, <laughs> it's true. Uh, I, like, I like his shoes. Ah, you know that's so. That's why I've always okay. been a Kobe Bryant fan. He's just—I'm not a Lakers fan. Like I'm a Knicks fan. Initial? Oh God, it's that. You know, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need your support here. I bet. Seriously, uh, I bet. I shouldn't say anything right now because the Lakers haven't been great but for a while. The, here's but here's the thing: they have more support than the Knicks. Yeah, though. they There's do. More up. Yeah, no, we're self-loathing, awful people to be around. Completely. Need... But can I just say that Kobe's early shoes? Kind of trash. Yeah, it's like hang time at the so Getty shoes were bad. The Adidas <laughs> ones were true, bad. True. But you can't say but that. But now they're iconic. Are you, okay. They're iconic they because he retired. Because he retired, yes. Yeah, of yeah. course. And now they're like legendary shoes. I love anything from the Kobe 6 to the Kobe 10. And Respect. now they have like the Kobe ADs, which just. I love out. the Kobe ADs. See, here's my problem with that entire argument is that, for example, Amy Winehouse. Like she passes away and we're like, oh my God, no, no. she was amazing. It's Amy sort of Winehouse, like when someone gets out of the game, why do we appreciate Amy Winehouse it more so? was amazing before she passed away. I agree. Very but true. Bruh, again, what is good with you? You come at the queen, you best not mix. <laughs> Amy Winehouse was the goddess of he her knows. generation. Do you he understand knows. the vocal pipes that are on that young woman? A camera. jazz singer from, like, come on. Come on, bro. Don't don't come at okay. the wrong let's, people. Let's, let's Rick, she's the Billy Holiday of her generation. Let's, let's come to my camera for one moment. <laughs> let's come to my camera. Is it about you? It wasn't about me. It was about other people also in the mainstream, especially on radio everywhere in America, who were like, man, she was really unbelievable. We didn't appreciate while she was there. But you so whatever you guys just tried to do, I throw not metaphorical, but literal middle fingers at all of you for continually coming at the king. Well, and trying to say, wait, 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 you said that? It's been here for three no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I did not say that. It were many uh, DJs that are around the country that but were saying that. So up. the example that I was bringing <laughs> this up. This is a trash some, example, though. Why it's is such it a trash a, because example? Because, like, the, first of all, Kobe's not. We're not appreciating Kobe's something not dead. while it's he going retired. on. Kobe's, Kobe's not, not dead. dead. He retired. Kobe's not dead. No, no, no. <laughs> so, for one, let's get that straight. And then the dead. Kobe ADs are actually a better fucking shoe compared to, like, I mean, his shoes when he was playing, let's be honest. It depends he's, what, like, he's again, writing I, a I would statement say, like, that's the irrelevant later, right the now. later, the later stages of the Kobe shoes, like, for example, like, it depends on because some are like collector's editions. The one that I really want, which is like an absurd, absurd, you need to be, and we'll get to the clip eventually, you need to be making like Russell Westbrook money, is the Kobe 6 uh, Miles Davis, okay. which is like a baby blue shoe, mm -hmm. and he made it in like a tribute to one of his favorite artists right. and jazz music and all that stuff. I think it had something to also do with his father yeah. being a big into jazz music. So, like, Part of it's collector's editions. The other part to me though is like, for one, I like playing. It's just pickup basketball, but pickup basketball and Kobe shoes but, okay, are comfortable so to wear while playing. And then, but I agree, like the hang time at the Getty is the one I always use as the example. Like mm -hmm. it's like the Kobe 2, it's like the Adidas yeah, shoe. It, it looks like something you'd be forced to wear to walk on the moon. Exactly, it's not a well-designed shoe. Correct. And compared to like, if in example, Paul George, right? The yeah. Paul George shoe, the, his initial shoe, his first shoe. Like or not. I love it. Yeah, it's a good I love shoe. it. And they and just they're cheap. they're cheap, they're comfortable, they they get the job done on the court and off the court, so they're pretty stylish. They Back. just released um, a new colorway that's like black with a, a gum bottom. All of the colorways. So they good. have like what do you I am fucked. Yeah. You know about you what are you wearing? Yeah. What kind of shoes you got on? Con oh, I love Kai, you know. Converse. Yeah, it's Converse on. Converse. Mm -hmm. Converse is a great shoe to wear. It is a great the shoe. The OG of selling shoes, Dr. It's J. It's actually the OG basketball shoe. Right, Dr. J, the OG of, of shoe sponsors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not enough love for him. I'm gonna frame this. Okay. So a little bit about Denise Jones. Yeah. Not French. Definitely doesn't not. Doesn't like early Kobe's, likes later Kobe's. Yeah, PG way better. ones, is that the, is, if you had one shoe you're gonna go out and buy today in the NBA universe. Is it the PG one? I'd say the, either the, the PG one or the Kyrie three. 
Yeah, the Kyrie threes are nice. Especially if I'm gonna, if it's a shoe that I can use on the court and because uh, I still play pickup games, so on the court nice. or just. That was your favorite shoe. No, no, if, if I'm going to go one. out and oh, buy a buy shoe. One. Right okay. now. What do you what think was... of those little, like, bullety things? I have no idea how to put it. Oh, like, like the little un- you... in the bottom? Not in the bottom, on the side by the Nike logo. I know the two. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Three. Yeah. They're like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like it. air bubble almost. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's part it's of the different. design. It's not like, it's not over the top to where it looks like a shape up or anything like that, right. but it's it, it gives adds to the design. Yeah. How's cool. the shape up game going? Are they targeting the Howie Longs of America? (laughs) (laughs) Last time I I checked. Uh, My favorite shoe, as I've told Jason this before, were two. It were the old school Iversons. Oh, that's nice. With Reebok. Of course. Uh, Red, white, and blue ones. Well, black and red because I'm from Chicago, so in support of the Bulls. (laughs) Smart, thank you. Uh, The (laughs) second was the T Max that were black and. Oh, of course. Blue, when of course he was with the Orlando Magic. Yes. Yes. Those were awesome. The yes. most overrated basketball shoe that I can remember were the Jordan ones. No, 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 no. The Nikes, hey. the Nike Air Springs. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And their whole are, thing was uh, boing in commercials. What about the pumps. <laughs> the pumps. No, don't talk the pumps. I want the, the pumps. The pump. were actually though like pretty nice. Like the they pumps. Were, they were pretty nice the in the pumps sense. Were bad. In the sense that like you felt. Like a real NBA player when you were like on them, there was like some bounce with it, and it was just like I felt like it made my jump shot a lot better, and I could just go in. And One of my favorite those. parts about the, really about good. those was in uh, what's what's the movie with uh, Minnesota Twins? It's, oh, uh, Minnesota Twins. Uh, the kids, the owner. Major League? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. The kids, it's the a, owner. Ah. Uh, um, anyway, know. I, I little know big league. Oh. No, it wasn't little big league. I don't. All right, so so you know what I'm talking about. So when the kid is owning. Uh, the Minnesota Twins and that one guy who blows bubbles like crazy, the mm. pitcher. What did he have on his glove? He had the pump. He did. Yeah, that would pump, pump up the glove yeah. in order. Yeah. The Smart. pump was a big deal, man, and it's like it was. it was just an extra part that made the shoe an experience. I think after that, it was more because you saw the design of the shoe and what it can do. But right. if you can physically like add to your shoe, it's almost yeah. like you're customizing it. Like, oh, your True. shoe doesn't have enough pump because you're weak or something like that. Wow. So. I agree. Wow. Uh, that's so awesome. that's Denise Jones. Quite an intro. <laughs> uh, more to come on TOT Sports. Perfect.